Hey there, it's your girl Kane Coral, and today I want to talk about my first month on YouTube, the numbers, the growth, the learnings, and the advice I would give for other people starting out, and what I need to be working on in order to grow more. Starting off doing YouTube is like learning any other skill. When you start at zero, in the beginning you're not really satisfied with your outcome because it's like, oh I have so many, like the vision is there but you know, the skills aren't there yet and that's because practice makes perfect. You need to constantly produce and make videos. I noticed for me when it comes to YouTube, it's not just, you know, the editing that you're doing or the gear that you're using. You know, it's the idea, it's the name of the video, it's the thumbnails, so many small things. So when you start out, it's like impossible to be good at everything. So you need to slowly get better and see what other people are doing and something that you feel like, okay, I'm doing this a little bit different. So that's going to bring people to my page. And I would say one mistake that I made is that I changed my niche a little bit by posting a video that's different from my other videos. And then my numbers kind of went down. So I had one video that had a lot of views and then after it just completely dropped and it went down to like 20 views a video. What that taught me is that it's good to know your niche, like everyone keeps saying that. And of course in the beginning it's nice to try different things to see what's what the audience wants but also what's something that you enjoy to make content about. And I really like the personal development niche and that was the main thing that I wanted to focus on but at the same time I was like okay, it's been like a year abroad and I want to make some content about what I learned there. In the beginning it was like I made like an au pair video which also didn't have a lot of views like around 20 and then I made another one which is more like about crazy stories that I experienced so it's not really about the personal growth and development and that also only had like around 20 views and because that was like a different kind of video I guess it confused people and there were no more growth happening in views and it just broke down from like a high of 380 views to 40 views again just down and that can be like really frustrating to see like it's getting up and you think it keeps on getting up and then you're just like going down this is like normal anything that you're starting out there are always setbacks it's about how you think about setbacks it's like not something negative even though it feels really negative it's like a part of the progress because it's just like a heartbeat that always goes up and down life always goes up and down there are always like times where you're like sad and times where you're happy and we can only really appreciate it by experiencing all of it and it's about appreciating the ups and the downs and learning from them so you can change up and be like like I had the thing with my niche where I was like, okay, I was trying something different and it didn't work for me. Like it could work in the future if I grow more, but then it's probably also good to kind of like separate it and be like, okay, I'll have one account for entertainment and one account for growth and learning because it's like two different things. And a person that's going on your account to learn something and then you're trying to entertain them, making a person think like, oh, I might not want to subscribe here because it's only like, like 50% relevant of the stuff that that person is posting and that was like a setback but the learning was even bigger with it so I'm also very thankful for 72 subscribers exactly one month of starting because I never thought I would grow that fast I wrote down if I want to get monetized in one year I would need to make like 83 followers per month when I started out I had like four followers so I was like this is so hard are there like any other people that would subscribe to someone with less than 100,000 followers and the answer is yes there are people out there and you just need to find ways on how you can bring the video out to the audience that you want to reach and that can take some time but it's like worth it because even if you don't get monetized if you record stuff about a topic that you're really passionate about because there are multiple things that I'm passionate about but I would say like the content that I go on YouTube for is personal development the books that I'm reading is personal development I want to grow and learn every day and by doing YouTube I'm learning to edit better I'm learning to apply the things that I'm talking about onto my life and helping me out so I can see if it works on me it can help others and I want to provide that on YouTube and even though there's like so many people talking about personal growth and personal development on YouTube 
if that's something you're passionate about, even if it's like something where it's hard to get big, it still makes more sense to do that instead of forcing yourself to do a different niche that you're not interested in, but there's less competition. Most people don't start because they're scared of those like setbacks and you know how to face failure and stuff but that's your chance of growth and being able to kind of like understand how things work it's always trial and error and this is like the best time to find out i'm glad i started and i want to encourage everyone to start too that's what i would say is my biggest learning of my first month and looking at the numbers and also it's important that you're posting stuff that's relevant and that's adding some of your personality to it so it's like if you feel like everyone's doing videos about this and that topic it's important that you're also aware of yourself and what makes you different from others what made you different growing up from others and being able to share that story because people love stories and watch your videos and be like okay is that something that i would watch in my free time it's always about the person on the other side watching your video it's like are you actually helping them and providing them with a solution to a problem that they have or is it you just talking nonsense that nobody cares about it really comes down to the head like it's really uncomfortable in the beginning and the audience can see that but the more often you practice it and overcome it the more likely your numbers are going to go up to the more likely and feel more confident to talk about even more things another thing consistency is really important because i can tell from like the numbers that usually on a day that i'm posting the numbers are like higher than the day that i'm not posting and I decided to post every second day because I was thinking, okay, can I do it every day? But I want to have fun while I'm doing it and at the same time I want to provide quality because a lot of people say that and it's true, it's quality over quantity. It's like if you produce a good video, like I said, that one video that I posted with over 1000 views, I got there like two weeks into posting constantly. So it's really something relevant and now it's not for me about like, oh, how can I copy what I, the information and stuff that I put in there and apply it to other videos, it's more like okay that's something that people care about you know what's something that you really care about like write down questions that you have where you would like to have some solutions and then try if you can figure out a way to find a solution to a problem and then post it and have the people watching it and then they're going to enjoy it and like the video or forward it to a friend that might have to set a similar struggle like there are certain struggles that a lot of people have so if you're able to find a solution to that, that's like perfect and the right way to think about your YouTube. Think about every video like a real story and find a way to find solutions to problems. Like people struggle with so many things and they are trying to find solutions. And a lot of the time, let's say you go to like therapy and some people can't afford therapy, but you have a certain problem and your therapist helped you and you're able to post that and talk about it and how it helped you and what your therapist told you. You can share it on YouTube for free and there are going to be so many people that have this similar problem and don't know how to fix it and you can help them work on that. And I think that's the nice thing about, you know, YouTube and creating that community of people helping each other out and people being supportive like i got so many comments of people encouraging me and it just gave me like such a boost of like yeah i'm doing the right thing and i always wanted to do it so i'm feeling really motivated to keep going and keep helping more people out there and helping myself on the way too because I always felt uncomfortable talking in front of a camera and also editing it because then I need to look at it and hear my voice and stuff and I used to hate my voice but with time you really get used to that and that's like beautiful to see how something really uncomfortable slowly gets more comfortable and you're starting to really have fun and be able to maximize your potential and put that out there that's the message that i have to you and my learnings of one month on youtube and i can't wait for the other months and next year and wherever this is taking me and you i'll see you in the next video bye Oh,